Well, hey guys, I'm here at Walgreens. They have a lot of new skincare and holiday gift sets with skincare, so we're gonna check them out. Oh, talk about a gift set. This, how much is this? Buy one at $30, get one half off. So this is, this is $30? They have it behind a lockbox, but I have tried the number seven pure retinol. It's very good, fragrance free. I don't know why you would need a linen mist, but that's in there probably smells like lavender which is relaxing then they have a pure retinol night repair cream the eye cream and the eye mask that is a dealio you guys a dealio because thirty dollars sounds like a lot but for all of that are this full sizes um the pure retinol is less than an ounce you get mm, no it doesn't look like full sizes but still that's a good little that's a good little gift set this is interesting, 4D Lift and Curl. I think this is just mascara. I don't think it's a lash growth serum, which I can't tell because they have it behind this cage, so I don't know what the ingredients are. But with the lash growth serums, you have to be careful because they have compounds in them that are actually similar to what's in the Latisse. And because of that, you know, they come with similar risks, especially of eyelid irritation, but also discoloration. Looks like we have some shaving gift sets here limited edition apple scented razor now it goes without saying that fragrance allergy if you have it these are a no-go caramel apple scent have to admit that does sound tempting but wouldn't you rather that be in like i don't know a perfume as opposed to your razor i just don't get having a scented razor anyway make sure when you shave you take short strokes and you don't press too hard and you use a lubricating shave gel shave cream i personally am currently using loving it's been a 2023 favorite the tea tree not tea tree tree hut shave oil but here you get from skin to mint their raspberry rain moisturizing shave gel and you get three disposable razors and a coupon oh you get six disposable razors three that are coconut delight three that are sensitive and then a $3 off coupon. That seems like a pretty good value for $10 because disposable razors are pretty expensive in my opinion. Venus Tropical, now this comes with a scented handle. Honestly, how precious do we have to get? <laughs> who, is, who is in the shower huffing their razor handle? Come on, Gillette, chill out. What's in their ultra sensitive satin care shave gel? I was gonna say niacinamide because y'all know that isn't everything. It does have fragrance, uh, lavender oil and eucalyptus oil. So presumably a pretty mild fragrance, pretty mild lavender scent, I would imagine. I've never used this before. But the problem with those is they kind of make a mess. Oh my gosh, you guys, check this out. I don't know about this foaming thing. Um, what this is, let's focus on the razor, is it puts out the moisturizing shave cream onto the skin i've never used this before to know how good that is but you do want to lubricate up the skin with a shave cream or shave gel before you go in shaving i suppose this kind of helps but how exciting is it you get a banana boat spf 45 lip balm but you definitely need to be protecting your lips uh, all year but in the winter time an spf lip balm is a must because lips get chapped easily and you need to be reapplying to protect the lips from the elements including uv you get the this razor you get two refills and the spf lip balm for ten dollars plus another three dollar off coupon that seems like a pretty good pretty good deal 22 68 value and you get all of this for ten dollars that that's a good deal then what is this down here we have a shower collection where you get the dove deep moisture body wash you know honestly i used to use dove all the time when i was a child because i was told that that's what i had to use as a child with eczema there's something like deeply ingrained where dove becomes like the best thing for sensitive eczema skin but it's really just very similar to other body washes. It uses mild surfactants, but it does have a pretty strong fragrance. Anyway, I have used the body polish before. It kind of makes a mess in the shower. Uh, but it is pretty moisturizing, and it's, you know, with, with those kind of scrubs and polishes, they just kind of end up agitating your skin barrier. Anyway, do you get a full size? 
um, a 20 ounce body wash and you get 10 ounce 10.5 ounces of the body polish for ten dollars check it out you guys walgreens has a version of the vanny cream gentle facial cleanser it looks bigger doesn't it it's the same volume eight ounces but walgreens is making it seem like it's like you're getting more um but you are getting more for your money at um at a dollar four an ounce as opposed to a dollar 87 walgreens also has a version of the daily facial moisture i really like this facial moisturizer um and the walgreens version is significantly less this is a really nice basic facial moisturizer and guess what those of you guys who cannot tolerate niacinamide consider this because there is no niacinamide in this. It's got ceramides, which are good for the moisture barrier. They're part of the lipids that act as the mortar between the bricks of corneocytes in your skin's outermost protective layer, the stratum corneum. And in dry skin conditions with age and with certain other skin conditions like atopic dermatitis, the levels of that go down, but applying them topically can stimulate your skin to make more and improve barrier function. Um, I imagine the Walgreens one is just as good. Walgreens really does come through with their own store versions of popular products, like the CeraVe SA cleanser they have a version of here. Um, the CeraVe SA cleanser is a great option for um, keratosis pilaris on the face, um, blackheads, whiteheads. It's pretty mild. Check it out, you guys. Userin has I don't know, change the packaging on their CoQ10 night cream. So this night cream, you know, I love their, their Q10 face cream. Q10 is a antioxidant that applied topically can improve, uh, not only act as an antioxidant, cutting down on oxidative stress, but also can help replenish antioxidant levels in your skin. This particular version of it though, it has, um, retinol palmitate which is not the same as retinol it says pro retinol but like your skin doesn't convert retinol palmitate over to an active form of of retinol so it the, the way it works in skincare products is, is as an antioxidant so you know not a complete fail but it's not giving you what retinol does um but userin has a version of this that is just the q10 that is just as good in my opinion this is new from userin their gel cream i'd be interested to give this a try oh they put fragrance in it i wonder why they did that that's a bummer um they have an immersive hydration night cream does this have fragrance in it too does not appear to shea butter Glyceratinic acid is comes from licorice root and is anti-inflammatory and um, may help with dry skin conditions like eczema. This here is new, Eucerin Face Moisture Boost Serum. Hyaluronic acid I rather enjoy as well as glycerin. They're very hydrating ingredients. Oh, this has sodium ascorbyl phosphate in it too. That's a stable form of vitamin C that actually shows promise for people who have acne. Um, it's been shown to help be helpful, maybe helping to cut down on oxidation of sebum that aggravates acne. And hyaluronic acid has a, a good track record of safety and efficacy for not only dry skin conditions, but for wound healing. Um, it's used in a lot of topical medicinals, including a newer form of uh, prescription tretinoin, Altrano. Looks like they came out with a new facial cleanser too. Man, Eucerin has really been working at the bench. Then they have a foaming version of it as well with hyaluronic acid. And then, oh, look, they came out. Maybe this will be a drugstore micellar water that works for me. I'll have to give it a try at some point. Now, arginine is a natural moisturizing factor. It's an amino acid. Desyl glucoside is an alkyl glucoside. It was one of the allergens of the year a few years ago. Um, not to say that it's super common allergen, but it's just kind of one of those hidden, why is this all of a sudden problematic for me it's allergy to those milder surfactants rarely happens but it's a possibility anyway i was saying like with micellar water i rarely ever get along with them they often burn around my eyes and i just don't find them as effective as like a cleansing oil or cleansing balm it's just a matter of personal preference but i'd be interested to give that a try the one micellar water that actually works for me is the bioderma one but I love cleansing oils and cleansing balms so much that I don't really buy that myself. 
Panoxyl has also been um, working at the bench, if you will, and that they came out with a clarifying exfoliant. I shared this with you guys in a Walmart video a while ago, but it's here at Walgreens. It's a 2% salicylic acid leave-on exfoliant. Walgreens is charging 13 bucks for that. So Panoxyl also came out with hydrocolloid patches. These have become so popular over the years. I find them very useful, namely for serving as a barrier to cut down on picking, as it, as it suggests, um, and to protect the pimple from external shearing forces that might aggravate the pimple inflammation and lead to discoloration, redness. So it may have some benefit for healing. But look how fast Walgreens came out with a dupe. Now they have a version of both the 10% wash and the 4%. Both of these are effective. You might find though that for the body, body acne, the 10% might be better for you uh, because penetration on the body is a little bit more difficult than like on the face. But that being said, oftentimes these two are pretty comparable, but 10% can be a little bit more drying. Some people, their acne is thicker. They do better with a higher percentage. But remember from my video on skincare myths, you need to stop believing. Higher percentage does not necessarily mean more effective or better per se. Um, in many cases, it can be irritating. And that's the case with benzoyl peroxide for a lot of people is that there's no need to go higher per se. And when you do go higher, you just end up getting more irritation. Looks like Walgreens also has a version of the Mighty Patch, which is the hydrocolloid patches I really like, um, in that they have face patches for larger areas. I wonder how these stack up to the Hero Cosmetics one ones. They have a body blemish patch. Looks like somebody punched. Walgreens has stepped in with a version of Differin's Discoloration Correcting Serum. Now. Several years ago, Differin came out with this product, and at the time, it had hydroquinone in it, which was great because over-the-counter hydroquinone is a great option for people whose acne healed with hyperpigmentation. And it was safe, although there are risks, um, but used in a limited time fashion, it could be really beneficial. However, because of the CARES Act, hydroquinone was removed from being able to be sold over-the-counter. So brands had to scramble and reformulate products that had um, hydroquinone. So Differin came out with a new dark spot correcting serum that's basically just a niacinamide serum, which is a shame. Although it also has sodium ascorbyl phosphate, that's a stable form of vitamin C that's been shown to be helpful for acne in a small study. Unfortunately, they left the fragrance in, which again is a common allergen and irritant. It was previously there to mask the horrific odor of hydroquinone, which can stink. Speaking of niacinamide, look, look Walgreens is duping the ordinary. This is new, y'all. This is new. Um, wh whoa, we've got some Walgreens, like, not, they're not just duping the store brand, because the ordinary is not sold at Walgreens. Now, 10% niacinamide is not any more effective per se than the lower percentages, but it can be more irritating. Topical zinc is anti-inflammatory. Is this really a big savings though? Because the Ordinary is pretty affordable. I'd have to go back and look at how much the Ordinary's one is. You get two ounces for $8.29. But check this out. If Walgreens has not been working at the bench, I don't know who has, but they are trying to do a SkinCeuticals glycolic acid cleanser. Now, glycolic acid cleansers can help um, gently, with consistent use, improve uh, discoloration, dark spots. But that there's always been this thought that if you wash your face with a, a cleanser with an acid in it, whether it be glycolic or salicylic, that it will improve penetration of your of your vitamin C, which that's the issue with vitamin C. But I'm surprised they're in here duping skin. This is a whole new world, a whole new territory for them. Check out these Soap and Glory gift sets. You have the pink pinkly a classic you get a body wash and a body scrub one of the biggest pitfalls that people run into with body wash is that they use too much and it can leave a residue on the skin get stuck in the skin folds you only actually need like a quarter sized amount of body wash um, and then of course if you're allergic to fragrance obviously this is a no-go the scrub what's in the scrub hydrated silica soap bark extract does have a lot of uh, kind of foaming property to it. Doesn't look like it's got like any sort of hard 
scrubby type thing. You get their foot cream, hand cream, body butter, body wash, a face wash, and a body scrub. What's in the face wash? Scorbial glucoside is a stable form of vitamin C that you know may help combat oxidative stress on a skin surface, but it does not, um, it does not get into the skin and convert to ascorbic acid. This has methyl isothiazolinone, a really common allergen. I don't know, I would pass on that. Uh, the foot cream has urea in it, which is really good for softening callus. Then the, this is the same body scrub. The body butters have always looked intriguing to me. All that is $40. This is more intriguing to me because it's smaller sizes, $8. That way, I mean, let's be honest, like you probably get bored of most of that stuff after a couple of weeks. Um, maybe not, but um, this, you probably enjoy long enough to finish. The hand cream, of course, is scented, but it has shea butter, dimethicone, and grapeseed oil. So probably pretty moisturizing. And then again, that foot cream with urea. Urea is not only, only not only is urea good for um, callus, but it's also good for your toenails. It's in the Discoco Fever. Oh, you get a body butter and a little body scrub. Not such a fan of the scrubs, but um, that's $8. Soap and Glory says relax. Perfect z zine, perfect zen body bath milk. So you get the bath milk, a body scrub. The sheet mask is not really seeming worth the hype. Magnesium ascorbyl phosphate is a stable form of vitamin C that may help with oxidative stress. But it's like, I don't know, you'd wanna be consistently using it to appreciate that benefit. I don't really find that doing a sheet mask is really where it's at for those kinds of things. The same body scrub, the bath milk, does not have methyl isothiazolinone in it, nor does the body souffle. How much is this? $13. So I've been trying the Suntouchable e.l.f. sunscreen. I'm actually wearing it currently. I have the SPF 30 one. It's a tinted organic sunscreen with niacinamide. It's really nice. Check out my short on it. But they also have an SPF 35 um, version as well. This one is not tinted but let me know if you've tried this this one um how you like it a lot of you have told me that you really like the tinted one that i've been using they also have all set for sun sun protection and setting spray the problem with sprays is they don't really give you a good reliable um, layer if you will but for touch-ups for reapplication it's better than than nothing um, with sprays, you technically, you, you really want to spray them into your hand and then rub them on your skin. Like, that's the right way to use them because um, you could inhale these, get them in the eye, around the mouth, and it could be irritating. How are these? Has anyone used these e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand blushes? That looks promising. Anyone noticed, at least on their Instagram, e.l.f. has changed their logo and it's, it's tripping me out. Like, it's L-E-F. It's like, what, why did they do that? So it looks like Lef. I, I don't know what that's supposed to be about. Like they're trying to be edgy and somehow like just suck us in via confusion. I, I have no idea. This camo CC cream was very drying, which is unfortunate. So if you, I often get comments that people find sunscreen way too shiny that makes them look greasy or whatever. Try this because it's super duper matte. <laughs> this concealer is really good. I've been really happy with it. It's creamy but it doesn't like get all melty and break apart and it doesn't crease too much i mean within reason right so i actually have this real techniques makeup brush set and i use this for my blush um and i use this one with the purple handle for eyeshadow i don't use the other two and i don't use the makeup blender but i've had them f i've had this set for a while now i don't like it as much as the elf makeup brushes but they're pretty good. Oh, definitely snag this as a gift for somebody who uses makeup. The Eco Tools um, makeup brush cleaner. It works really well. This is what I use. I get mine on the Amazonian though. Well guys, Walgreens has not been letting us down with their store dupes. Albeit, you have to be careful because sometimes I've noticed Walgreens upcharges on the actual name brand version to make it look like you're getting a better deal. So shop around, but they definitely are coming in with even more of their store versions like SkinCeuticals, hello, 
Maybe they'll come out with a version of the popular CE Ferulic. Anyway, y'all, I really hope you enjoyed this drugstore skincare shop with me. On the end slide, I'm going to link my last drugstore skincare shop with me, so check that one out next. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.